How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Forza Horizon 5. It's Torben Tuesday. Series 13 is the next update for Horizon 5. It gets revealed at the end of this week. However, today, on an actual Tuesday for once, Playground Games have given us a Torben Tuesday, as you can see on screen. Now, Torben Tuesday is a day where Playground Games give us an image, and this image contains lots of clues as to what's going to be in the next update. So we're going to take a look at that image today in this video. We're going to break it down and see what we can figure out about series 13. And I think we have quite a lot nailed. <laughs> Let us know in the comment section below if you spot anything that isn't mentioned in this video. And make sure to subscribe if you're new here because we do stuff like this all the time. So we already know that the next update is going to be a For Horizon 10 year anniversary update. So they've already announced that and given us a few informations about Horizon Story is coming in a new radio station. But other than that, we don't know much. There's been two other things that people have spotted. The live stream schedule has got a Dodge Viper Forza edition on the thumbnail. So there's a very good chance the Dodge Viper Forza edition is coming. And the live stream thumbnail itself on YouTube has the Koenigsegg Agera. Now that is the car that is no longer in Forza Horizon 5. Maybe it's finally returning to the game within update 13 near to the end of this week. So, so far we've got the Horizon story and everything we know about the update, plus them two cars that aren't announced, the Dodge Viper Forza Edition and the Koenigsegg Agera. The Forza monthly thumbnail gives us another view of the Dodge Viper, and as you can see very closely, it has a window sticker. So that's going to be a very special edition Dodge Viper, it seems. But let's get into the actual Torben Tuesday, which is the most exciting part of the video. Here it is. This is the image that Playground Games has given us to tell us all about the future updates. Let's break it down and see what we can find out. So we're going to start off over on the monitors on the right hand side. The right hand side monitor seems to be the loading screen or the starting screen for Horizon 5. It's very obvious. It says start game in the bottom right hand corner. It appears we have a slight new graphic in the bottom right, which says Forza Horizon 10 year anniversary. So that looks cool. But what I find interesting is it's obviously a McLaren Senna on the wallpaper definitely trying to give it away that there's going to be different loading screens throughout the series the mclaren senna was the cover car for horizon 4 just like the dodge viper was the cover car for horizon 1. so they seem to be focusing a lot on the cover cars of the big forza titles the dodge viper and the mclaren senna so far now we're going to come back to that monitor later on in the video but we're going to, we're going to have a look at the other one now which is one of the interesting ones. This is probably one of the most interesting things we've ever had on Torben Tuesday, in my opinion. And it's annoying because we can't really figure anything out about it. It appears to be some kind of map. Obviously, they're designing the map. But as far as I'm aware, and a lot of other people, I don't remember or recall this location being a thing. Do you, do you guys remember this? It seems to be some kind of small building with electricity generators and they look like toolboxes down there. They look like toolboxes to me. Um, it looks to be in some kind of deserty, sandy area or maybe a dirty area. I just don't remember this being on the Horizon Mexico map. So is this a new area that they are adding to the game? Is it a future expansion? Is it just an evolving world? I'm not too sure. What do you guys think? Because I'm pretty damn sure that this is not an area in the game yet. Is it going to come? Is it just a teaser, a red herring? I'm not too sure. Either way, even if, it, even if it is just an evolving world and this is going to be something added to the Mexico map, that's still pretty damn cool. Uh, but we'll, again, we'll come back to that later on. The whiteboard is where a lot of the cool stuff are. So the whiteboard seems to be broken down into four sections. We have 13, 14, 15, and 16 down here but 16 is pretty much covered now i believe that these numbers are on about the series is series 13 14 and 15. now series 13 is the next one it is the one that's being announced in a few days so i believe series 14 and series 15 are also teased on this board as well so what do we have at the top near series 13 well it says happy birthday which adds up exactly because it's the 10 year anniversary which is a birthday so that adds up and then it says week one, week two, week three, week four. And then it says press A next to them. Now, what I believe this to be is I believe this is a sort of hint towards the loading screen that is shown over on the first monitor. And I think that every week, so on week one, two, three, and four, it's going to have a different loading screen based on the different Horizon games. So week one will have a Horizon 1 loading screen. 
week two we'll have our Horizon 2 loading screen. You get the gist. And we can see here that the McLaren Senna is on the wallpaper there, which I believe will mean this is week four. Do you get where I'm coming from? Now this leads me to wonder, are we getting any Forza Edition cars for every title? Now we already know the Dodge Viper seemingly has a Forza Edition coming with a special window sticker. Could we be getting the McLaren Senna as the same thing as well? Now it doesn't look like on here the McLaren Senna has the Forza Edition wheels or the window sticker, but it's still something to look forward to. So that's what I think the week one, two, three and four mean. Now what do we have next to that? We have some kind of circular wheel or fan or something like that. And then below that, it seems to say 4DV. Now 4DV in Roman, Roman numerals is 505. There aren't really many cars out there that hints at 505, the Peugeot 505 maybe. I don't really know. But what I've sort of pointed out is maybe this isn't the number four. Maybe this is the letter A. ADV. Now, ADV produces lots of there's lots of rims. Possibly maybe we're getting more rims added to the game and this is sort of a hint towards them being ADV. Now if you look above that the weird fan looking thing looks very much like a rim to me. So it's either 4DV or it's ADV and if it is ADV maybe that's a rim above it and we're getting more rims, more customization added to the game. That'll be quite cool to see. Let me know what you guys think on that. But let's go a bit further down the board to series 14 and break that down. So we, we are presuming that the 14 is on about the series is. So this would be November, if that's what this might board means. So we seem to have some kind of text that says Astra Lepus, Astra Lopwu. I don't really know what that says. It's quite hard to read. And then we seem to have weird things next to that, which look to be like water towers, like a mini water tower, and then a large water tower to the side of it with weird buildings in the middle. What do you guys think these are? I think I don't think these are supposed to be a big giveaway because if this bit is on about series 14, that's still over a month away. So it's quite far into the future. I actually did a video yesterday talking all about a new leaked update that has been found. So make sure to watch that if you want to. But that is potentially going to be in series 14 or 15 or maybe even later. But none of that really correlates to anything on the whiteboard, to be honest. So what do you think all, all of this could be? People have said that maybe this says Astra Lap and we're getting the Top Gear infamous Astra lapped car. Um, it could say Astra Lepus and I believe that is a reference to Final Fantasy and we have had a Final Fantasy vehicle in Forza before, the Quartz Regalia, if that's how you pronounce it. It was in Horizon 4, I think. And no, it wasn't in 3. Horizon 4, it's not in the game anymore, so maybe we're getting the Quartz Regalia returning to the game in Series 14. Um, another thing in this thing, it looks like from the water tower looking things it says ooh la la in sort of on the big one and the small one now what on earth does ooh la la mean i really don't know but the reason i'm really really sure that the 14 means series 14 is because now if we go further down to series 15 which is here we can't really see anything other than what seems to be the letter w and then the letter a and then it cuts off but over on the right hand side we have a little snowman and series 15 is in December which is Christmas which means snowmen so series 15 may very well have snowmen returning an evolving world returning map under the snow a snowy map a festival map a Christmas map as we had last year so that's obviously a dead giveaway to series 15 being at Christmas series 13 is this month which is October which adds up with whatever this is series 14 being November see what I mean? There's a few more things below that. We have C under the 15. Now C, don't know what that would mean. C means yes in Spanish. Um, are they just trying to say yes to us? What are they saying yes about? I've seen some people go take a bit of a stretch and say lots of people are predicting the second expansion to be in December. Is this their way of saying yes? I think that's a bit of a stretch, we'll have to wait and see, but what do you think the C could mean? Over on the right hand side we've got even more numbers and letters which I have no idea what mean. Seems to have the word date um, or update, I'm not sure what that could mean. Again, I don't think it's supposed to be a dead giveaway. It seems to say what exclamation mark there, 
and then a few little mini letters x5 dj 248 5470 plus 4 i don't really know i think everything on the bottom of the board is just a bit of gibberish and the main stuff to focus on is 13 and 14 which is this month and next month it was quite it's quite a sudden Torben tuesday to be honest because it's only a couple of days away from when we find out about the update anyway but series 14 is well over a month away so we can always come back to this video next month when we're talking about series 14 and see if anything lines up with what we've got here we'll have to wait and see so yeah i mean it's looking like series 13 is going to be a jam-packed update we're going to have custom loading screens new custom forza edition cars maybe new wheel customization or a 4dv car um, a new potential new area of the map evolving world maybe um, this maybe this is just a glimpse somewhere on the second expansion maybe it's a desert expansion a dunes expansion i don't know there's lots to consider i'd love to know what you guys think in the comment section below but other than everything we mentioned there there's nothing really else that i want to mention there's a little mr bean easter egg down here it just says there's nothing here because i mean technically there is something there and it's mr bean um but other than that there isn't anything there uh that's pretty much everything that's what i could dissect from it anyway what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below we'll know in about three or four days time exactly what's going to be in update 13 are you guys excited i'm certainly intrigued make sure to leave a like if you've enjoyed everyone subscribe if you haven't already for more content just like this and i'll see you all later